Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood in a different setting today, a little bit more plush. Yeah. <laughs> Looking ahead to a, a big trip on the road against Taunton on Saturday. How are you feeling going into it, Adam? Yeah, all right, yeah. Like I say, different setting. Feel like a uh, bit of an interrogation going on here. <laughs> like, probably the police are last felt like this, but. Um, no, yeah, feeling good. Obviously, team's on a, on a really good run at the moment. Um, you know, four wins out, out of four in the last. Um, four games and you know it's been some good performances in there as well like really mixed up how we've had to play it's been some good uh, some clean sheets as well we scored lots of goals so we're obviously going to go to the game with, with lots of confidence but you know still be wary of, of the of the test that we've got ahead of us um, which is a long journey um, and we've been playing a lot lately so we've got to take all those factors into account but not go there with no excuses and, and try to build on our recent performances. You talk about the variety of performances, it's been a really tight defensive display as uh, Tuesday was and then a, a goal route with the Concord game that have been scoring seven goals. Having that variety of performances must be uh, knowing you've got that adaptability in the teams has got to be pretty encouraging for this running. No, yeah, definitely. I think um, after the Concord game, I said like, clean sheets would be important and other than you know the breakaway goal that we conceded against Braintree, that would have been three clean sheets on the bounce, which you know we probably deserved in, in reflection with the amount that we've given away and how well we defended. So um, yeah, a bit, bit disappointed we haven't done that, but you know I think they're going to be really important now in this running. Um, you know we've looked at it, we've scored probably the second highest goal, so we know that we create a lot of chances and, and score goals. Um, but yeah, the, the defensive side, we want to really tighten up as, as a team and um, you know, really limit the, the opportunities that the opponents are getting. Amongst this game is amongst the long run of away trips. It's the longest, I think the longest of the season in general. How is that for the squad to go on those sort of, on those sort of trips, even though it is a Saturday and it's a little bit better? How is that for the team morale-wise? No, yeah, like I say, Saturday's obviously um, a bit better and easier to get down to them kind of places. Um, obviously Weymouth we've done that very early on in the season now on a, on a Tuesday which was you know a, a, a big ask for the players really. You know, we've got to go straight from work some of them and then jump in the car and then get to Weymouth. So a bit more relaxed in terms of um, you know you can still get up and it's not so much of a rush. You don't think a lot of them be working on a Saturday so they can have that bit of, bit of time at home and then um, you know make their way down but yeah I think like the, the preparation is key um, obviously you need to be eating at 12 o'clock really it's an ideal time before so all of that sort of detail now needs to go into the lads thinking um, and how they whether they stop if they're driving around 12 o'clock um, like we will be doing or or whether you know they take some food with them it's really important now that we we ultra professional in our preparation. Um, so yeah, that'd be the, the messages we, we get across really, just to keep up with um, the, the right preparation. So there's no excuses going into the game. Don't think a service station Mackey's would be that nutrition for them? Not, not ideal, no. Um, I think you boys have got a song about one of the Mackey's stops, didn't you? But um, no, I won't be suggesting that. Um, but yeah, whether they get some noodles or something and um, you know, take some pasta with them or something would be ideal. Uh, but yeah, even that one or two of them trying to cook up some pasta, I think would be a bit of a challenge for them. So yeah, um, it's, it's all that preparation. It's, it's got to be spot on right now, in my opinion, and um, it's really sort of make a big difference. How are you feeling going into this one? It's obviously been a, a busy schedule, as you mentioned, and going beyond this game as well, the Tuesday, Wednesday set of fixtures. How do you feel the squad going, going into this game? No, obviously, um, great, great run of form, and it, you know it shows in the, the morale. Obviously, if you if your morale of your team's not good after you know four wins on the bounce, then it's never going to be. So, obviously, they, I've you know spoke highly about the lads all season, really, in terms of how they prepare and um, how they train. They train really, really well. You know, I don't have to motivate them to get them up for a session. They always bring that and you know Darren Budd's a, a big driving force in that um, you know you don't see him probably as much out on the pitch no more but what he does he, he runs a dressing room he runs a training session for us and you know to have him amongst us is 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 a real big big bonus for us.
yeah, no surprise with the way he was as a player as well, uh, a real enforcer as a player as well as a coach. How is the squad looking going into the game, injuries-wise? Obviously, Joel missed Tuesday with a bit of a dead leg. How do you yeah. think he will be for Saturday? Hoping, hoping Joel will be right. We've got the physios in, got some extra um, physios and, and, and whatnot back to help us. Um, Georgia and Daisy who come and done some placement with us early on in the season will come back tonight to you know, just bolster um, our, our all hands on deck really to try and get the players ready, whether it be massages or whatever, whatever they need to try and get them ready. But um, yeah, we're hoping that, that Joel definitely will, will be available. Kane still sort of touch and go, it's a, a muscular injury, whereas you know Joel's a bit more of an impact. Um, so yeah, have to have a look at that um, and yeah, see where we are.